Before we do that, let's get things started with our single tricks. Aurelian Girard is going to kick it off. We said it, although he didn't do it the way he wanted to in the line. He is starting strong. Hard flip 180 right there, down the stairs. And we talked about it. Jocelyn was saying, hey, it's really difficult to get speed. Honestly, he looked like he had no problem. Walk us through this. A hard flip revert. Obviously, you got to catch it. So watch, he snags it with his feet and then just twists it at the very end. And to get that one all the way around is so hard to do, and especially on something that high and that long. 9.3. Oh, man. I can't remember ever seeing anybody do that in Street League. I don't think so. Yeah, he might be one of the first. Chris Jocelyn, he needs a 5.8 for second place. And remember, you you can either win your group or you can be the highest scored who's not in the finals. That's your other opportunity. So just because you may not win does not mean you are out. You've still got to go for it. It's kind of Jocelyn's middle name. Kind of go for it? Yeah, kind of go, go for, for it. it. Oh, he did go for it! it. <laughs> Big flip! <laughs> yes! Dude, he did that so good. Yeah, he did. Look how pumped he is. He landed it perfectly straight. That angle was so good for it. I hope we get to see that one again. Nice. Props to Erlian. Props to Jocelyn. So he's done all he can do right now. I mean, he, he skated well. Yeah, he did. Here's another look. Hot, perfect. Yeah, his feet are on the bolts. And he didn't, he's a guy that will have a little bit of sketch and a landing because yeah. he forces it. Nothing, nothing. There you go, 9.1, Chris Joslin. Total scoreline, 33.6. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. That was awesome. Run <laughs> 70. That was a heavy trick. <laughs> Putting it down when, he, when it mattered most. And you see the celebrations are like a final too, because it is like a final. You have to get into that number one spot if you want to make the final. Look at how well he did it too. I mean, he still popped out yeah. really high, turned around all the way. That was awesome. Front blunt 270, Alex Midler when he needed it most. You know, he really sets himself apart from the rest of the field with his pa his back tricks. He does different tricks than everybody else. 9.1 oh, yeah, Lewis Midler. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great It was right out of the stadium. <laughs> oh, what is, oh man, this is. <laughs> 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 Put your hands together for Kurt. Oh my God, that was nuts. That was so crazy. I was wondering if anybody was going to touch that rail on top of the seawall. Honestly, I didn't even think about that once. <laughs> I didn't even think that that was in play. Like, I thought it was cute that it was up there. You thought it was decorative? Yeah. I thought it was just so boards didn't fly over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was just like, oh, what's authenticity or whatever. Uh, look at this. <laughs> Cup noodles replay. They should give Jake, like, <laughs> Two of these points that Kern's about to get. Yeah. That is honestly nuts. I think's tall. Give him a nod. Do it. I'm sorry. I know. Am I, I laughing? I just, just don't You're know. just ready to lose it right now, Alex. <laughs> Like, what do you do with he, that? He tried to board. So. Yeah, he did! He did! He gave him a nine. Honestly, yes. totally warranted. Yes. I, that was 100%. Nuts. Oh, yeah. That first attempt. Always humbling when you don't make it. But he did that perfectly. Backside 180 flip nose grind. 
instant, the cup of noodles instant replay. Perfectly pinched. And the fist pump. Guy's been watching Tiger highlights. There we go, 9.2. Hey, that's a reason to, to fist pump right there. He's wearing red, he's fist pumping, <laughs> and he's putting himself in contention. That ties his highest ever single trick score and definitely gets him in contention for a win here today. He needs a 9.8 to get into first place. All right, the half cap back Smith, back 180. How do you feel about that from a strategy perspective? I love it, it sets him up. It, this half cap backsmith by the cup noodles replay did it perfect. It sets him up to be able to be in good position for that re rack for the last trick. Yeah, he gets to to look at his overall score and go, okay, he's gonna get nine even right there. So that means that seven point one from his line is going to be dropped if he can put something else really solid up there. So Nigel Houston, second place. There's another look in the nine club replay. And that's why this new format is so exciting. Before, he would be stuck with that 7-1 no matter what. And can he do it, or is Desenzo going to be a first-time winner here at SLS? Oh, he needs an 8-5, and I think that's going to do it. Wow. Oh, man. I'll I know, tell you what. I know that's one of his tricks, but to be able to do it in that situation. This is what SLS is all about. Coming down to that last trick. Full going for cap. broke. Full cap, back tail to fakie. Perfectly done. Last trick of the contest. Desenzo <laughs> fought like hell. Uh. Awaiting that score for Kelvin Hoffler. What a moment. And a 9.0! That does it for Kelvin Hoffler. Your winner here in Chicago. What a boss. Oh, oh, he does it. Trey Flip no slide stomps it. Wow, a 7.7 .7 or better is going to move him ahead of Daiki Ikeda. What's the rough prediction on that score? I mean, let, let's get a look at how he did it here. He didn't do it the best, but this has to be above a 7.7. Trey flip no slide on the big rail. Okay, so Daiki Ikeda is going to get a last crack at it. But Dominic Walker waiting on that score. Eight point nine. The judges liked it. Felipe Moda. He's in fourth. Eight point four changes that in a big way. Oh, wow. kickflip front hurricane. He definitely got the truck on that time. Yeah, that one was perfect. <laughs> He's got fans. Such a good flick all the way into that front hurricane. That was beautiful. Nine point two. Felipe Moda. Best he can do is second. Oh. <laughs> 
just like that, Shane O'Neill proves why he's the best. That was amazing. Is that the first crook nollie tray in a contest ever? This crook nollie tray flip. It's ridiculous. A 9-3 puts him in a tie for the bubble with Felipe Moda. A 9-4 wins the bubble. 9-4. He does it. He looks bewildered, of course, because he's like, that trick's kind of easy for me because yeah. I'm Shane O'Neill. He's like, oh, well, you guys like that? <laughs> Dykey, 17 years old, got second place in Japan. We're confused too. Cab back tail big spin. That's one of those tricks as well, like you're cabbing into a back tail, so you don't want the rail to be that big because it makes it scarier. But big spinning out, you want more time to be able to, to get your feet set. He just whipped that thing all around one motion. My brain hurts right now. Like the fact that he just did that first, 9.2. He did that first try. Like, okay. Kairi Netsuki came out swinging 9.4. What does he got? <laughs> okay. Now that should be in the club. How does that stack up to what Daiki did? I mean, both big spins out. Both big spins out. You just don't see the heel flip back tail that often. I, I personally think heel flip back tail big spin is harder. I'm going to agree with you. He didn't land it as good as Daiki, but it has to be close. I think they're going to let him in. I, I think his name's on the list. They got to let him in. That'd be two in a row for him. <laughs> no, that's wild. And a 9.3. I mean, we saw <laughs> we saw Yuto get four nines one time. Ooh, that was sick. Thank you, flip front 50. Good to see him flipping in. That's what he needs if he's got an opportunity to get in there. Yeah, fakie flip, front grind, round handrail. You only see him do that, so that is something really specific to him. Survival. He's talking about that toe side. Usually you want to lock in on the heels, you have a little more control, but. At this stage, you just take what you get. 9.2. Well deserved. Going to be for the crowd. Needs an 8.8 .8 for second. Oh, look how easy that was for him, too. I know, it looked like. God, he did that good. You can tell the disappointment. Throws the hand up. Needed that a little earlier. A 9.4. First attempt. It's our first look at, at what he's going to try in the singles. Dude, what do you even call that? My God, I don't know. Isn't that the Suchu grind? Nolly Suchu? Yeah, it's like a Nolly Suchu. A 
his nollie over all the way to his truck, bringing it back out. Dude, his body right there so turns it up. So wild. That was gnarly. I just wonder how high up there it's going to be. 9.4. Yeah. Again, Yuto continuing to do tricks that we've never seen him do before. On Australian soil. 13 years old. Can she do it when it matters the most? Kickflip is so gnarly, especially on a round rail. She locks in high, flicks out. It was perfect. But oh, man. she did do a 50-50 kickflip in her run. And repeating tricks will dock points. She needs a 7-5 to get up into first. Is it going to be enough? I would say it would for sure be enough if she didn't do it in her run. But we'll see what how that plays out. Defending champion back at the top of the leaderboard. Three in a row. Felipe. Easily the highest scoring trick of the night so far. Nolly flip front nose on that rail. This is the trick that won him, got him the W in Sydney on a little hubba. Now he's doing it on a long, mellow, sackable rail. Nolly flip front nose. So 8-4 moves him into the lead. So the question is how large will the lead be? 9.4. Felipe Gustavo with an overall score 34.5. Isa Leal, leader, with an 8.1. What are we going to see from her? Just like that. I think it's just adding little bits of upgrades, you know? You don't have to upgrade it too much. She started with a back lift the first run. Going with the back smith. Probably, we'll see if she avoids repeating the front blunt. Yeah, because I think this one's going to... Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Picky front board. That's a huge upgrade. If she can finish with the front blunt on the 10, golden. Yeah, this is potential nine-point run right here. She does it. This is going to be hers to lose. Keep this going. You see her mom in the crowd down there cheering her on. That was one of the best runs I've ever seen in a women's final. This run had it all. Tech tricks. Skating the big section. Flipping into the smaller rail. And everything was perfect. And once again, 
That style's perfect. Making it look too easy. You said it could be in the it could be in the nine club. Could be in that you know the crowd. The crowd's yeah. gonna win it. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Isa under pressure, skating in front of the home crowd with huge expectations. Yeah. <laughs> and she comes out and puts it down like that. She doesn't miss. She don't miss in Brazil. This is the highest scoring line presented by Vivo, 9.0. So well deserved, it had everything in it. Started with the big section, ending with the big section, front blunt down the rail. Decent start, solid start. Gustavo Ribeiro from Portugal defending Super Crown champion. Yesterday in the knockout rounds, he got really lucky because he had the lowest score of anyone that made it, but he was in one of the weaker scoring rounds and he squeezed through and here he is in the final. Yeah, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, they say, huh? <laughs> That's right. But he's gonna have to be great today. So close. <laughs> he's great. I mean, the feet. He can set up for the Tekus trick so quick and fling him and land him perfect. Yeah, he has one of the quickest feet in the game. Oh, and he finishes with the signature quick nollie flip that he can do pretty much anywhere, anytime, and he proves it with the last trick in his run on the 10. I think he was just playing with us yesterday. He was just yeah. saving it for the finals. I mean, tray flip 50 the hubba straight into tray flip nose blunt the rail. And then to end it on this, crook nollie flip, the biggest rail in the park. It'd be hard not to, to put him in the club. He yeah. is in the way up in the way club. Way in the club. 9.3 to start things off. Title defense. Vincent Milou from France. Coming off a 7.6. He had to wait so long to take his first line. I think now he might be warmed up. Prime to rip. That's cool. Using the ledge on top of the quarter pipe. Yeah, no one skated that thing in the finals. It's risky business up there. Yes, it is. So does that front heel, but for some reason, he could just do that trick every single try. Nice. East Th Coast. Throwing a little old school in the new school format. Yeah. Wow. A switch flip front board to finish it. Does it matter if he had six, seven seconds on the clock and didn't use any of those and kind of was taking a bow I mean, to the crowd? Look, in this Tiger Cam replay, kickflip front lip to start. That's to start his run. Flip tricks everywhere in the middle of his run. And then to end it with switch flip front board. I don't think it matters that he wasted five seconds at the end. You flip in regular and then flip in switch. You're going to get the score regardless. So a great comeback for Vincent. Puts him in the nine club with the nine of four. New leader over Gustavo Ribeiro. And Gustavo's run felt unbeatable.
wants big things from Giovanni Viana. Delivered. Delivered. Cab from one fakie. Like that. Yeah, you don't ever see people do this trick. And especially on a tall, mellow, long rail. Again, cabbing, spinning away from the rail, getting both trucks completely over into a front blunt to fakey. We have a battle on our hands. 9.1 for Gio. Puts him up in the lead with a 27, with only three scores so far. Just getting 9.1s. Giovanni has anything to say about it. A 9.4 gives him the lead. Oh, he does it! Frontside half cap, backside Smith. That is not a trick anyone does anywhere. Talk about that trick. So awkward. Frontside half cabbing, you have no idea where you're at. And you just hope that you're in the right position. And then look how much he dips this back spin. It's a weird one. You don't ever see it. It is one of the gnarliest tricks. Is it a 9.4? I have no idea. It is it's, a battle. It's close. This, this is, is Giovanni versus Vincent Milou all day. It's a 9.4. Giovanni Viana takes the lead from Vincent Milou. This is a huge shakeup. No one could have predicted this coming into this weekend. That was incredible.